आदरणीय जोशी सर ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन गुग्गुलू कल इन प्रैक्टिस पोशोधन जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई डू आई सिलेक्ट दिस सब्जेक्ट टुडे बिकॉज यू आर डीलिंग विथ पंचकर्म द होल डे वॉट डज अ गुग्गुलू हाउ टू डू दे मेरे अंगने में तुम्हारा क्या काम है ऐसा प्रश्न हम सबके मन में आ सकता है बट देन आई विल टेक यू थ्रू द दृश्यम ओके एंड दिस इज द फ्यूचरिस्टिक विजुअल ऑफ वॉट गुग्गुलू कल्प विल बिकम इन फ्यूचर प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर शोधन कर्म फर्स्ट लाइट प्लीज आई लर्न माय आयुर्वेद विद द जीनियस पार एक्सलन्स वेद द वासुदेव जी व्यास and i never forget him 24 hours round the clock i remember my guru ji because he asked me to follow this line ayurvedo padeshesu videha paramadaraha and when he said you have to express paramadar towards ayurved he meant that you have to read understand and practice all these things and that is how i think we have been expressing our paramadar towards ayurved nahi right? this is 2000 year old shloka make sure that you understand the meaning and content of the shloka the shloka says parishram amita haro bhugato ashwini suto tav anadrutya naivaham vaidya mannam samachre when i had that board dr milin patil physician and surgeon so that physician is mitahar calorie restriction and that surgeon is exercise parishram i will not go to any other yeah? because parishram and mitahar the twin days twin vaidyas of the gods they are my hipa and that's why i don't think that i will go to any other vaidya that is the meaning of the shloka which is very much there in hari rasamrita just try to understand 1500 year old shloka next slide please read the title autophagy and aging maintaining the proteome through exercise and calorie restriction just appreciate the publication 31st august 2018 what does that article say that article says that exercise and calorie restriction maintain the proteome i have translated proteome as sarva dhatu a comprehensive view of the things expressed in a single cell that is sarva dhatu so if exercise and calorie restriction maintain the proteome of the they are responsible for maintaining the complete structural and functional integrity of the body and that's why parishram amita haro so i am very happy to see young doctors here my dear friend this is your future you will read that sanskrit line and you will make sure that the science is giving you the support for that line I don't see any difference between Paramita Haro Shlok and this title, autophagy and aging, mend the proteome through exercise and calorie restriction. So be open to these modern ideas that you use your kalpas with all confidence, conviction, and courage in your life. Next slide. So effects of acute and chronic on autophagy in multiple tissues. I'm sorry if you are not uh, able to read things, but I will try. this exercise does have the role of mala nirharan we say in ayurved that yate cha yatha kalam mala nam prati how do we do that by panchakarma of course then if vyadhi is not that gambhir or we have already given the parma how do we do mitahar and ye yeah, parishram so effects of acute and chronic exercise on autophagy in multiple tissues will make sure that mala sanchiti each cell of the body is taken care of and it is expelled next calorie restriction now look at those two words ampk and cert 1 i always say in majak that ampk is nothing but amapachan i urge you ernest you to read what ampk is today evening and you will feel and you will find that ampk activation is nothing but amapachan sirtuin is a protein which anti aging properties and when you give langan to a patient you are really getting you are really increasing ampk and sirtuin one in the body which do have anti aging effect 
and that's how especially in lifestyle disorders disorders you see the use of mitahar and exercise now, again let us publish articles in the newspaper of now scientific literature parishram physical exercise attenuates inflammation via suppression of systemic macrophage activation you will see that particular word there nuclear factor kappa b so nuclear factor kappa b is a factor which resides in the cytoplasm just try to understand nuclear factor kappa b is a factor which resides in the cytoplasm and when there is a hetu seven this nuclear factor kappa b goes inside the nucleus and tells nuclear transcription factor to produce certain chemicals which give rise to various inflammatory markers just try to understand nuclear factor kappa b resides in the cytoplasm smoking pollution faulty lifestyle virus infection bacterial infection will move that nucleus factor kappa b to go towards nucleus it will enter the nucleus and it will ask the dna in the nucleus to produce cytokines chemokines which will generate inflammation next slide next slide read each and every word of this slide why has evolution produced nuclear factor kappa b my answer is because of pranayashana we are talking about the evolution of the organism and pranayashana survival of the best is the ayurvedic principle biological principle nuclear factor be evolved to be a central participant in the protection of multicellular organisms it is just try to understand that nuclear factor kappa b resides in the cytom gets induced by various hetwas hetavahas goes inside the nucleus and makes that nucleus secret various inflammatory markers so what is nuclear factor kappa b it does pranayashana to get activated so that inflammation is next it serves as a central inflammatory mediator it responds to large variety of immune receptors it is if it is deregulated activation is involved in various inflammatory diseases because this that that inflammation has to overcome virus bacteria pollution etc and then indications if you look at the indications of the gugulu they are all lifestyle related autoimmune inflammatory in nature and this loka is surrounded by many many targets and i have gone through this presentation umpteen number of times i think i did speak about nuclear factor kappa b and its relationship with arogya vardhini years back maybe a decade ago so that nuclear kappa was discovered 40 years ago and even today they are trying to understand what that nuclear factor kappa b is so complete shloka's interpretation of gugulu's mode of action can be been pointed as gugulu inhibits nuclear factor kappa b activation and thus it will stop the inflammation next and this is what is sukshma sukshma samikshesham dosha oshoda nirupane this is exactly my acharya meant sukshma ka bhi sukshma dekho dosha aur aushad nirupan ke liye and then look at the title of the book drug discovery from mother nature most probably published in 2017 or 2018 and one of the chapter is devoted to gugulu steroid and its role in chronic diseases number of chronic diseases if you enlist the gugulu indications you will have enlisted almost all chronic diseases and what does that article say that gugulu steroid mediates gene expression through the regulation of transmission factors including nuclear factor kappa b just try to understand nuclear kappa uh, nuclear factor kappa b was evolved to keep the organism's integrity intact that is pranayashana and this nuclear factor kappa b by various hetavas gets activated and make sure that dna in the nucleus makes various cytokines to give rise to inflammation and gugulu does have a hold on that nuclear factor kappa b next so all the gugulu kalpas that you have in practice have a scientific evidence 
for the therapeutic agent in the treatment. It does reduce inflammation. It is useful in nervous disorders by silencing nuclear factor kappa B. It helps in hypercholesterol, skin disorder, cancer, urinary disorders. And it does stop nuclear factor kappa B from getting activated. And I think when I read this, I'm into Sanskrit literature day in, day out. I read those Sanskrit lines almost every day. And I make sure that those Sanskrit lines are validated by modern medicine. So when I was preparing for this presentation, it simply occurred to me that Gugulu has anti-inflammatory reaction. There are various Gugulu kalpas to take care of inflammation in various systems. But then that one single mode of action of Gugulu is inhibition of nuclear factor kappa B. Next. Look at the publication date, 2018, April 2018. How do inhibit nuclear factor kappa B? What is nuclear factor kappa B? It is the key to health and master control of inflammation. Read that line again. How to inhibit nuclear factor kappa B? The key, what is kappa B? The key to health and master control of inflammation. And if you read the Google's indications, you find that they are prescribed in various lifestyle disorders, various inflammatory disorders, and therefore, how to inhibit nuclear factor kappa B? Answer for Ayurvedic doctors is very easy. Just prescribe Gugulu. Okay? And then you will make sure that that nuclear factor kappa B is silenced. Next. These are the end results of Falashruti of Saunshodhan. Buddhi prasadam balam indriyanam dhatu stiratam jalanasya diptim. I think chiracha pakam vayasaha karoti saunshodhanam samyan. These are the end results of chronic intake of Gugulu Kalpas. Okay, and that, that's why after your Shodhan Karma, make sure that something Gugulu is prescribed to the patients. Next. We have the explanation in modern medicine of Gugulu's Guna Karma. Next. It does work in reducing the arm. It does work in reducing the inflammation which goes along with aging. Next. I think if you visit the stall, you will see these products. All Gugulu Kalpa. If you understand the category, Sandhi Vikar, Twacha Vikar and Staulya, if you just meditate on these three categories, Sandhi Vikar, Twacha Vikar and Staulya, you will know that nuclear factor, Kappa B, is very much active in all these disease conditions. And therefore, we have classified this temporarily into this Gugulu Kalpas. Next. This is my last slide, published in April, Maina, 9th April 2019. What does the title say? Nuclear factor kappa B signaling in macrophages, dynamics, crosstalk and signal integration. Then I jumped to the last line of the article because I did not have time to go through the complete article. The last line of the article says, the future of nuclear factor kappa B signaling research is bright and perhaps fluorescent. And then I change this line into the future of Gugulu Kalpas in Ayurvedic practice is bright and perhaps fluorescent. And I think you should make note of this that whenever you are studying any other Gugulu Kalpa, make sure that you understand that Gugulu Kalpas karmukata based on this basic understanding of nuclear factor kappa B. Next, I think, and if you get good quality Gugulu Kalpa, you will certainly like the Sampannata of it, and you will start practicing Gugulu in your practice with all confidence, courage, and conviction, because nano purvam ki vhi chikitsa safal hoti hai, aisa mere guruji bar bar mujhe batate the. Thank you for the patient hearing.